How's it going, everybody? I am Jason of Jason's Realm here, and today I'm here bringing you guys my top five, not top ten, top five fantasy football kickers this year. And without further ado, let's just dive right into this. Before we do, let me know in the comments who you would love to have on your fantasy roster for a kicker this year, because I want to hear what you guys have to say, who you guys think are the top kickers in the league, and let's just dive right into this. Up first, we're going to go and lead off with an honorable mention, Robbie Gold. We don't know where he ends up, but he does want to play football this year, but he did want to leave the Niners. So we have not heard of any signing of Robbie Gold that I've been aware of, so because of that, I can't place him on the list, but eventually assuming he does get signed he will be clearly on this list and he will be high and away and number five I have the Raiders kicker Daniel Carlson he has been a very consistent kicker in the league and I mean I've liked him since the days of when he was in Minnesota he got released picked up by the Raiders and the rest is history he has been one of the top kickers in the league and he has been a very consistent kicker nonetheless and number four I have the Indianapolis Colts kicker Matt Gay Gay was one of the best kickers in recent, uh, starting up in recently because, you know, he did really well with the Rams over the past couple of years, and now he's going to the Colts offense, which is going to be decent, but there have been concerns with Anthony Richardson in the red zone, which leads me to believe that they're going to be kicking a lot more shorter field goals. So you might be getting two or three field goals a game, which is an easy six to nine points, plus any touchdowns they get for PATs. At number three, I got Tyler Bass of the Buffalo Bills. The Bills, electric offense, they're going to be in the end zone a lot, which will give Tyler Bass a lot of opportunities to kick PATs. Now, I'm not sure if they're going to be getting held up as much for field goals, but the PATs will add up week in and week out. And number two, I got Greg Zerline for a similar reason as Tyler Bass. Um, the New York Jets adding Aaron Rodgers really are looking to be a solid team that will get the ball in the end zone consistently. And assuming they do that, he's going to have a lot of opportunities to get PATs and rack up points week in and week out. Maybe five, six points, six to eight points a week, maybe consistently, but it will be a consistent weekly thing. So he's going to be a safe bet. And that leaves it number one, Baltimore Ravens kicker Justin Tucker. How can you disrespect Tucker like this? Especially if your league does do more points for further back field goals, you will be seeing a lot of points out of Justin Tucker. The Ravens are not scared to kick a 60-yard field goal if they have to. If they get stalled up and they're down by two, or even if they're in a tie game down the stretch, they will go for that 60-yard field goal because Justin Tucker is just that good. So picking up Tucker is a no-brainer if he is still available later in the draft when you're focusing on kickers. So well, that's about going to do it for me today. If you guys did like, don't forget to smash like and subscribe. It helps me out a whole lot. It lets me know I'm making stuff that you guys enjoy. And also, uh, let me know in the comments, is there anyone I should have put on this top five that I didn't? Anyone who didn't belong? I want to hear what you guys have to say. And also, go ahead and check out, if you haven't already, the video popping up over here. It's one YouTube thinks you should go ahead and watch. And I guess I will see you guys next time. Peace out, and have a good one.